Hi family, so for this week, we're going to, for our project, we're going to make a puff fish out of a paper plate. So I already, I made a paper plate and I already kind of got started um, following, I actually just follow the lines that are on the ridges of the paper plate, just to kind of make even um, um, the spikes. Um, and then just started cutting them out, cutting out every other one. Um, so I'll finish doing that. Then the paper plate, um, paint, whatever kind of paint that you guys have at home. I have like Crayola acrylic paint that's safe for kids right now. Um, and kind of whatever color you guys want. Um, and then white paper, construction paper for the eyes that we'll put on later, and then a black marker. Um, and also white paper for the fins, which I have right here. Um, cut out so they're going to kind of go on the outside. So right now I'm going to do that, do those fins. Um, well, I'll just do those in a second. So what we're going to do is paint the top half of the puffer fish one color and the bottom half another color. So we're going to come to use um, the green and blue. I have my paint, my paintbrush, and we're just going to go. Um, I'm just paint the whole top half that's going to be this green color, um, including the fins. So, So we're going to paint, um, like I said, the plate is going to be two different colors. Um, and then once we have the two different colors and it, we give it a little bit of a chance to dry, we're going to do white spots on it as well. And that'll be kind of like the, um, the spikes of the puffer fish. So. So as we go, I know sometimes paper plates don't necessarily, depending on what you have at home, they don't hold on to paint very well. So um, that happens, but do your best. Uh, so I have my top half right here is green. Um, and then the bottom half, we're going to paint blue. Then the fins, since the top half is uh, green, the, we're going to paint the fins that same color too. Um, I have a little, this light blue color. That we're going to do. About half left. Some examples I found have purple and green, blue and orange, red and yellow. Um, so kind of just whatever your um, child is wanting to do for colors. It's totally cool. Um, cool. Great. So here we have the puffer fish. We have green and blue. Um, while I'm letting that dry a bit, I'm going to paint the fins that we have. Um, paint them green.
should have two of them. And there we go. Here we have one. Things on my fingers, but it's okay. And then the other one will look the same. There we have two fins. Um, I'm going to let those two dry. And then while that stuff is drying, um, we're going to do the white um, dots on the puffer fish. And they're going to be kind of random, wherever they want, wherever we want to go. Um, if you have a small paintbrush, this might be great time to use that one. Um, I don't right now, so I'm just gonna use this big one. Or if you, if your uh, L wants to use their fingers, I totally fine too. Here with that, you get a little messy, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use, I'm actually gonna just use the actual tip of my paintbrush, dip it in, and then we'll just start doing dots randomly. Um, the buffer fish, like so, and there's just be kind of random spot. So do that until your kid wants to be done with the dots. Uh, get them on the the fins as well. Like this is pretty easy. A lot of us have um, paper plates around our house. So something that we can usually get together. I know, um, get together those materials. I know at school when we're in person, um, a lot of times we'll try to do some paper plate art projects because they are pretty, pretty easy to kind of get going um, for our kids. And we already have this, uh, shape going so. All right. So with that. See all the dots as we go around. Um, yeah. So with that, we have two circles for the eyes, and then we're just going to draw the eyes in the middle. Um, black marker. I'm just gonna use a glue stick directly on the back of the paper. And then we're gonna just put that on the buffer fish and then we're almost done. We'll just put that right on. Um, some of the white paint will likely still be wet, which is fine. That'll just dry to the paper too. Is there a timer for this? Um, so here we have the eyes. And then we'll do. Yeah. Um, we'll also draw face. We'll mouth on there. Uh, and then. Glue the fins on and we'll be all done. So 
just doing the glue right on the plate. So. One. And now the fins are still a little wet, so I'm just going to be careful with that. Uh, and there we go. Cool. Okay, we have the puffer fish. You know, favorite plate. All right. Um, and then that's it. Thanks.